Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're talking about the quick news update that came out on both the JP and the global side of Dokkan Battle last night. Uh, first things first, the, J the Japan 25th World Tournament is currently up. It was up about 24 hours ago. So uh, make sure you go and grind that out if you're looking to get any of those rewards. I did cover some of the cards. Uh, I'll be doing a more in-depth look at the cards with the team building guide, obviously, when they become when they become available on DokkanBattleBuilder.com. Uh, you can expect that probably like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday-ish. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, what, what, what I really want to talk about is this new Broly banner that's coming out on both the JP and the global side. Uh, we're also going to talk about the Turles in a second, too. But apparently, the movie announcement celebration for this Broly is here. So here we are. Um, Dragon Ball Super Movie Announcement coming soon. Come check out first-hand information. Dragon Ball Super Movie Announcement Celebration coming soon. Broly that appears in the movie will show up in the new Extreme Z Battle. Okay, new login bonus event and special missions will also be available. Stay tuned for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Movie Announcement Celebration. On top of that, you can visit the official site of the movie following link. Okay, interesting. Um... Uh, please note that the site is displayed in Japanese. Please note that the event content and dates are subject to change without prior warning. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So it looks like he's going to be for Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, I wonder what that could be for. Maybe they're moving on to the 70% leaders and they're gonna it's going to be the Extreme Z Awakening for the physical Broly. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. That's what, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Uh, but that's going to be really awesome. I like that. I like that they're actually doing that. So we're probably not going to get any card. Um, maybe we're going to get a, a farmable Broly or something like that with an event that comes along with this. And then like... We're going to be able to, um, you know, Extreme Z Awaken that card or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. It looks like it says Friday 810. Um, well, I guess it's uh, it's just coming soon, so I don't know when this is actually going to happen. That's awesome. All right, cool. Um, anyway, outside of that, um, that is coming. I'm hyped about that. We want to talk about the new Turles banner that's also coming. Uh, so Turles is right around. Um, and this banner it was very hard for me to find. It wasn't up on DBZ at space. I looked at all of these freaking banners. And I, I checked like three times before I try to start recording this video. I couldn't find it. So I ended up going over here uh, to Jinro. So thank you for having this and swiping through. Um, <laughs> so this is what's going on. We pretty much have uh, f a few of the new units that's coming out. Obviously, we have the new Turles that's going to be here, right? That is going to be the number one card that we're going to be summoning for. That is this guy right here. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. Now, this guy is... Um, actually, let's switch this over from... Actually, we, we can't do that from... This guy is going to be the um, global leader for movie bosses. We're going to switch over to the wiki really quick as well, so that way I can actually have proper translations for for us. So his TUR farm form is movie bosses category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or extreme class uh, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%. So not horrible um, uh, for that secondary. I mean, you would obviously want it better, but at least gives three key. Um, we did not. What am I doing with these tabs? Stop, stop. Oh my gosh, stop. Um, all right, so for movie boss leads, he's the only one that is the current leader. Uh, so you're gonna, if you want to run the movie bosses team, you're gonna need him as a leader. He's actually a really good unit. Immense damage, medium chance to stun. Um, he is a support unit, which is very interesting. Um, key plus three, attack plus forty percent for all allies, uh, which means everyone who runs with him is going to have a whole bunch of buffs. You're either gonna run him as a support unit off rotation, or you're gonna keep him on primary rotation, so that way you could have like LRs have uh, hit, well get get more key. So it's up to you. Um, each fruit of the tree of might when conditions are met. Um, power up, 25% chance to eat fruit of the tree of might when HP is 80% or below. Power up will last for three turns. Um, and then you're going to go into this form over here. Requires 15% HP at the start of the turn. Attack and defense plus 130%. Super class enemies defense minus 80%. Um, immense damage, high chance to stun the enemy when he does this. So he, he becomes a lot more viable, like really crazy uh, when he's doing that. Um, I don't know if he does anything else uh, on this that's really interesting. Uh, to mention but he's a pretty cool card um there are a few on a few units on here that are worth mentioning but before we do that um just remember that this guy over here from the fruit of the tree of might event and i've talked about him before superior suppressor turles can feed into him you're gonna go into the fruit of the tree of might event the one thing that i really like about this card well he drops available on any of these lower stages um which stage does he drop the best on i think it was was it the last one over here um level 10 sworn enemy yeah, level 10 sworn enemy, he has the highest drop rate, but he Z awakens with the Fruit of the Tree of Might medals, so you get a whole bunch of them, and you're not wasting a whole bunch of any or your actual medals, so it's very, very worth it. Uh, I'd highly recommend doing that if you if you end up pulling him. Free Super Attack 10, and his drop rate's actually pretty damn decent. I remember when I ran it to increase Super Attack the Intelligence one, it didn't take me too long. I think it took me like two full stamina bars, which is like about 300 stamina, something like that, and I had enough, um, but I also got lucky with the feeder. But he's a pretty awesome unit. You know, I, I do I do enjoy the category itself. If you want to look at the movie bosses, 
Um, if you have the LRs, good for you. That's a, that's dub something that you definitely want to be able to run. Bojack, uh, future Korra will maybe get him. Uh, but Bojack, Broly, we don't have Beerus yet. And then any of these guys. So in terms of the featured units, we do have the Agility Tapion. We have Final Form Cooler, which I freaking love that card. And I need some damn dupes of. Oh my gosh, give me dupes. Uh, STR Janemba is on this banner, or was on the banner on the, on the JP side. Tech Golden Frieza. Physical Super Saiyan Broly. And we had the Tech Beerus. So, um, honestly, I don't think the Tech Beerus is that great. I don't think the Physical Broly is that great. If you haven't pulled the Tech Golden Frieza, he is a good unit. If you already pulled him, I mean, he's a, he's a good unit. I mean, if you want to 100% him, you can. I'm not saying don't do that. It's actually kind of needed. Um, almost needed on Super Battle Road if you are doing if you need him for your Extreme Tech team. Um, S-Tier Janemba, Final Form Cooler are both the uh, 120 leads, respectively. So, I mean, having dupes of them to get them to 100% is never a bad thing. Uh, AGL Tapion, I'm not a huge, huge fan of. Uh, I don't think he warrants getting dupes. I, I would never really use him. I think he's a big pain in the butt, but he is a giant form category leader. Um, he does immense damage, lowers attack, reduces damage by 50%. Uh, so he is a damage reduction. He actually helped me out on Super Battle Road for the agility team because of that damage reduction. Attack and see the thing is what sucks is you don't get his buffs for a damage output until your HP drops below 50%. And when you um, when you drop below 50%, when your HP is below 50%, um, you go into Phantom Majin Seal, so you you go into that Harutagon state, which means you're not taking any damage, but it's just a, it's a pain in the butt. Um, that's what I'm not a big fan of the card, but if you do want him, he is going to be available. Damage reduction is never a bad thing on a unit. <clears throat> but um, yeah, that's what's going on, guys. So stay hyped. I'm really I really hope you guys are as hyped as I am for this stuff. Uh, again, on the global side, I, I just hope it's like all free to play stuff for the uh, Broly because I, I don't really plan on putting cash down on anything anymore. Um, at least, <clears throat> probably not until um, Jiren, but I already have the Jiren banner, so I already have the Jiren from the Jiren card banner. So we'll have to wait and see what goes on with that. I'm probably going to save for LR Cell because I think that's like the next extreme physical unit that's actually really good for the um, yeah, extreme, an extreme team. So um, I'm probably going to be sticking with that just because all the super ones that keep on coming out, they're nuts, but they are going to be available in the future. But I will be doing a future um, a future banner guide coming out. So stay tuned for that as well. I'll probably do that next week too. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.